So another really key area in dentistry, loops and lights. Yep. I can't even imagine not practicing with loops and lights. And in my practice, when I transitioned over to lights, it was even more to, more dramatic for me mm -hmm. than when I transitioned to loops. Absolutely. Loops, I realized what a bad dentist I was. And lights just illuminated the fact that, man, you got to see everything yeah. today. So to you, what's hot, John? What are you looking for right now? The big thing at this show is Orscoptic's XV1 surgical telescope system with a built-in light. A couple of years ago, Orscoptic came out with a system they called Freedom. And it was a combined you know, set of surgical telescopes that had batteries in the frames. And it was a, it was a great product. Um, I got a set, used it every day. And then this fall, they sent what I would call like the generation two of this whole concept. And they gave it to me in uh, October, November as a beta test. And I think it was uh, November, or I'm sorry, probably January that they, they contacted me, probably late January, and said, okay, you know, give us your evaluation. I did, okay, well, can you send them back? And I was like, what are you, crazy? This is, you know, the greatest thing that I've, I've put on my head in years. Um, there's little screw-on, screw-off tubes that go in the back with little, you know, rechargeable batteries, and it balances it, it makes it easy to wear. There's no cord that you have to hook on anywhere. You don't snag it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it it's my go-to. Wear it every day for everything I do. What about you? I love them, and I will tell you, I tried them too like you did, and I think if a doctor's out there looking for their second pair, this would be my second pair that I would go out and purchase and mm -hmm. this will turn into your first pair, and your second pair is your backup pair. Absolutely. And I got to tell you, I love the fact that you don't need a cord, because I think that just gets so grimy and dirty. Who's really taking off two sets of gloves? We right. know you're not. Because honestly, there are so many times I have to take off my gloves after I tighten and lift yep. up and look. And you know, it's just the way it is. So I love the fact that the batteries are kind of free floating and I'm not pulling my chair. Mm -hmm. with, with that being said, I'm going to say to everybody out there, assistants and hygienists, you just got to go to that next level. In my practice, hygienists have to wear loops and lights. They're Absolutely. not wearing these. They're definitely more of a premium item. Mm -hmm. But for hygienists, I think there's so many great product categories with companies out there with loops and lights. They just got to go there. Yeah, absolutely. And I have the same uh, policy in my office. All the members of the hygiene team, they're all working, you know, with magnification and lights on their noses. Track lights have become really a thing of the past. Um, and, and from an infection control standpoint, too, one of the things that's really neat about this system is the on-off switch is what they call a capacitive touch switch, which means basically you can reach up and even with the back of your arm, tap them and shut them on and off and then cycle through a low, medium, and high setting. So you can do everything you need to do and never actually have to touch them with a contaminated glove. Which I think is key. I right. just think it's key. And you, you, you work better. I mean, in order to see well, you know, you've got to have magnification, and then that just leads to better dentistry, which I think would then segue into, you know, one of the other hot topics that we're, we wanted to talk about was, was CAD CAM and digital impressions and the ability to, you know, look down and see your work, and it's magnified, and you can see, as you said, when you, once you first get magnification, you see all your mistakes, but now you can see them and fix them you know, before anything else takes place, and digital impression systems are just flat out changing the world. And I'll say this, this is probably the product category that you really have to look at and have fun with. Mm -hmm. Impressions, let's face it, that's everybody's worst part of the whole procedure. And now it's a digital game. And whether we're both iTero users, and I'm looking forward to their new software upgrades, but whether you're a 3M Lava COS, the new Trios, there's so many new and wonderful scanning systems that you just gotta go take a look at them. And, and I'm not talking E4D or CIRAC, those are wonderful systems also for the right offices. Right. But I will certainly say the number one thing is you can actually see what you're taking a digital impression on, like you said, and you can correct it, not after you pull it out after five minutes, right. which now you've wasted all that time. Now you can correct it right then and there. And that's Absolutely. a great virtue of digital impressions. You know, when, when the iTero system, when you, you know, you get done and you look at it and you've taken the byte registration digitally and suddenly, you know, the device shows you, hey, here's a spot where you don't have enough room for, you know, adequate bulk of porcelain. Right. You can go back in and fix that before, you know, the, the patient comes back, you've, you know, ground the living daylights out of the restoration and, you know, created more problems for yourself. You know ahead of time and you can fix it. And it's much easier to fix something at step two than it is at step 18. Totally.
And I'll say this, you still have to, the, the ultimate system would be an ultrasound or something where you don't have to pack cord. You still have to pack cord or use a laser. Or use a laser. You have to. But I'm going to tell you the product that I think is an absolute must, whether you take digital or traditional, is Premier's new Traxident system. I absolutely love it. After I pack my triple zero and my one or two cord and my Viscostat Clear in between, mm -hmm. I take one of their customized size caps. I let the patient bite down on it for five minutes and I am telling you the retraction with that custom little one of those three sizes from Premier, that Traxident system is unbelievable and the way they've made their Traxident paste, it's not like Exposil. You can inject it into any bleeding area, so you're cementing a crown and there's blood up from a temporary that's inflamed. You're doing bonding. It is a must-go-to product, whether you're doing digital impressions or traditional impressions. I just think absolutely wonderful. One other thing I'll add on this category, and, and then we'll sign off with this one, um, is at this show, Itero is showing a brand new acquisition unit, and it is phenomenal. We beta tested this as well. There were only a handful of offices that got this in the United States, and Ooh. we were one of them. Yeah, and this I'll, was I'll one, have to call them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we had to send it back in the second week of January, and it went out the door with two of the dental assistants, you know, hanging on and being drug out the front door with it. They didn't want to turn loose of it. it. This whole new piece of hardware is really a game changer. If you haven't seen the new iTero, and I know you haven't because it's, you know, only being shown starting tomorrow, you got to see it. If you said before that I'm waiting for it to get better, holy mackerel, you're going to be impressed with what they've done.